just tested it out, got it oriented the right direction, and checked the speeds. And it's actually very fast. But yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this setup. And this is the power pull on the app. It was saying it was pulling 22 watts average. It's kind of just hopping all over the place. But it's doing really good. I usually use this battery with my ADSB out right here. Um, but that's completely dead. I neglected it. So my thought was I was just going to connect uh, the ADSB out to this. And then this is my ping USB, which is a more accurate ADSB in uh, data, which you can plug um, into your phone. And then you can see it on XCNav. I also have a Sentry Mini uh, for ADSB in, which I can use for four flight. But since I've let my four flight subscription run out, just use this. Ultimately, what I ended up doing was finding this DC plug and uh, cutting the wire and splicing it into into that and getting rid of the XT60 connector. Pulls about four to five watts and she's on and blinking. So I should be able to put this in the front seat with the Starlink and have ADS-B out and internet in flight. Let's go connect this thing to my trike. I'm ready to go. I've got um, Starlink and the battery all laid out right here. This is secured behind it to these and this is secured by these buckles right here. I'm gonna go grab another antenna for that. And uh, this is kind of the layout. This is currently on being charged by that. Getting started a little late, so I'm gonna get in there. Time to get this show on the road. All right, let's go. Unfortunately, my GoPro won't stay on it's so cold out, uh, so I didn't get to really pop or any of that. But it worked really well. It went up to like seven or 8,000 feet, and uh, I didn't have any surface, so I turned it on, and then I had like 60 uh, megabits per second download speed, and I was able to throw a YouTube video on. I was able to check for um, air traffic, which was really nice, and it loads very quick. Uh, and just being able to check the weather, uh, say I'm doing a big cross country, like when I, when I flew from Mexico to Canada with Caleb and Chuck, you know, we'd be able to check lead cars, we'd be able to do Wi-Fi calling, so we could call airports ahead of time, we could call anyone, uh, depending on our situation. Um, so it's very useful, uh, actually, to have, to be able to fly around with this, and it's really easy to put in the trike, and I also love that I can get my ADSP out going on it as well. Uh, so I got all the navigational kind of stuff I need uh, for a really long cross country or something like that. So I'm very happy this worked out. <laughs> it's pretty sweet that Starlink works in motion uh, at 8,000 feet in uh, an ultralight, a paramotor. So very cool. Uh, that flight was about 52 minutes. Uh, I had a hundred percent battery before I started. It's at 88% now, but I've actually been running it a little longer than my flight, maybe an hour and a half. So after an hour and a half of, um, just having, uh, ADSB and Starlink going, I've only drained 12% battery, just a reference for if you're flying or camping or something like that. It's really good to know that I can utilize this if I'm say doing a long cross country and you know I'm flying at altitude or in an area where I'm not going to have service and I can 
draw on the Starlink and be able to call people, be able to check weather. Weather's a big one. Uh, when we flew from Mexico to Canada, it's really important to be able to check check winds at the new destinations, check METARs. Um, say you had to call the airport for some reason um, to verify there's fuel. You know, maybe you were going to this airport and you knew it had fuel and you have to go to a different one due to winds or whatnot. This next flight gets cut short. Um, we can see the weather ahead of us and whatever's starting to form is creating a much stronger headwind. Uh, so we start looking at our phones for a place to land. So we're not going to make it to our next destination, so we had to turn around and pick a random airport. So This could be really helpful um, in flight for paramotor cross country for sure. Or, uh, for instance, my friend is trying to fly above 18,000 feet into Class A airspace, and he's having communication issues. Well, what if he could just fly with this thing and uh, be able to communicate with ATC via, I don't know, phone call or something. Maybe they could uh, make a special case for, you know, setting a record or whatever. So it's pretty useful to have this and um, it's going to come in handy for other stuff, I'm sure, like going on road trips or camping, car camping, or if I really feel like carrying all the weight, backpacking it in somewhere. So uh, I love Starlink. It uh, saved a lot of lives here uh, when Hurricane Helene hit Western North Carolina. So um, I'm a big fan. I've had a satellite dish at my house for, I don't know, three years now. Uh, and it is awesome. When power went out during Hurricane Helene and we didn't have communications for two to three uh, solid days of cellular, and then it was bad cellular, um, it was really nice to have Starlink. Thanks, Elon Musk, for a great creation.